Well, hello everyone. Welcome to getting started with think or swim today. We are going to talk about stops and the song stop in the name of love keeps coming, you know, into my head, an old song by the Supremes, but we're going to talk about stops today and we are going to talk about stop loss orders on stocks. I'm going to show you how to add a stop loss order to an order that's all or to an investment already in your portfolio. We're going to place a trade with a stop loss order. We are going to look at how to cancel a current stop loss order and update it. So we have a lot to cover. This is a quick class. We're together for only 25 minutes. We have a bunch of people who've joined us live. I appreciate you being being here and helping bring this class to life. So hello to Wiley and Alan and Susie and BJ and Lola and Ricebird and Scott and the rest of the gang. Thank you all for being here. We also have Ken Rose uh, with us. He's a friend and a fellow coach. He knows this platform inside and out. So if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to ask. I am going to be filling in for Cameron May for the next, well, the better part of the next two months. So um, I'm looking forward to getting to spend this time with you. So let's get right down to business. Um, it, I invite you to follow me in the land of X, now known as Twitter, um, and Ken also. Ken's handle is at Ken Rose CS. Mine is at Barb Armstrong CS. And um, yeah. We'll look forward to seeing you there. It's another way for me to be able to communicate with you and you to communicate with me outside of webcasts like this. Know that everything we talk about here is for general purposes only. Um, you know, we're going to look at a bunch of different stocks. None of that is to be construed as a recommendation to trade any particular stock in any particular way. We are not going to talk about options today. We'll look at stop loss orders on options next week, but know that options carry a high level of risk aren't suitable for all investors. If you want to trade options with Schwab, you have to apply for option trading privileges and not all will qualify. Um, we are going to be looking at some charts today, but neither Schwab nor I recommend using uh, looking at charts or technical analysis as your only means of investment research. There's lots of other things that you might want to consider the stocks fundamentals, earnings season, what's going on in the world in general, in that industry, in that, that sector. Um, paper money is for educational purposes only, but it is a great place to learn and grow and to become familiar with the platform and familiar and comfortable with your um, uh, trading strategies. So, um, you know, it, it's a very powerful learning tool and that's the platform we're using today. Know that all investing involves risk, including the loss of principles. So let's get right out to the platform. So the first thing that we are going to look at today is a little stock you may have heard of called American Express. And we can see that this stock has been doing well. So far this year, it is up almost 25% and just had earnings. It looks like it had a good earnings report because it moved up, then pulled back for a few days. And so we're going to look at maybe buying 100 shares of this stock. And we're going to put a stop 3% because it looks like since it started up trending back here at the end of October, that this red line, this 30 day moving average, it'll come down and kiss that line and then moves up. And it looks like this has been acting as a support level. So we're gonna look at this line and put a stop about two or 3% below that. Just for today, we're going to put our stop at $220.31, okay? So we're going to come out to the trade tab and anywhere on this line, we can right click and say that we wanna buy and not just buy, we are going to buy custom with a stop. And we are going to use a stop market order. We're going to Put this in at 220.31. And we're going to make this good till canceled. Now, does this mean good forever? It does not. I believe a stop loss order will expire after um, about six months. And so I'll show you how you can see if you have a stop loss order on. And Ken, if I'm not right on that time frame, please feel free to uh, type in the 
the date, but stop loss orders do not last forever. Um, they will expire. But, and they also do not guarantee that you will get out at exactly the price you requested, because if this stop were to gap down, we could end up out at a lower price. So with stop orders, there isn't a guarantee, but it will trigger, it says here, we wanna buy 100 shares of American Express. We want to sell if it goes at or below 220.31, which, which means we're risking $13.31 a share if we were to get out at this price. Okay, so we are going to put this in our trend trading growth stock group, and we're going to send that in. Uh, your rec is asking if we can set the presets to good till canceled instead of day. And, you know, that's a good question. And I don't know the answer to that. Now, what if you said, like, I'd like to buy a stock, but I don't want to risk rather than trying to pick out a certain number to put our stop loss order at. What I would like to do is make it a percentage. So if we came here to Netflix, for example, and we said, okay, I would like, and I'm just going to get rid of this for a sec. I would like to buy a hundred shares and I, I, I'm okay with giving it some latitude, but I don't want to lose more than 10%. So if if you could we put in something instead of putting in a stop at say you know five something could I make it a percentage and the answer is yes you can so we're going to come to the trade tab we're going to right click and it, this is a six hundred dollar stop so if we bought a hundred shares that would be almost a sixty thousand dollar position so we're going to buy fifty shares. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come down to buy custom with stock. And instead of making this a finite number, we're going to come to our stop. And we're going to make this a percentage. And we're going to say, hey, if this comes down more than 10%, and so this stock is trading at $594.47. So if it fell by more than $59.44 or 45 cents, we would exit the position. Okay. Susie is asking if we can add a stock and that's going to be the next one. So this is saying if it goes down more than 10%, we would like to exit. So confirm and send. And so when we look at our order, it says we want to buy 100 shares of Netflix. Oops, we didn't want to actually buy 100, did we? We wanted to buy 50. So I'm going to go in and correct that. And then because I have this little paper clip in place, when I hit enter, it will adjust my stop loss order also. So when we come back here, we want to buy 50 shares of Netflix at the current price. Um, that's going to be a $30,000 position, almost $29,737.50. We want to sell if it goes, you know, 10% below this price. So what might happen? Okay. So let me just show you how this will work once we put this in we're going to put this in our trend trading growth stock group and hit send okay so we now are the proud owners of 500 shares of netflix and let's come back to the chart so it's come up and let's come in a little more up close and personal so let's say that it's come up and over the next few days, it pulls back. So let's say it starts to pull back like this. 
And right now we got in at 594. Let's call it 594.80 times 0.9. So our current stop is at 10, it's 10% 10 below. So it's at about 535. Now, is it going to, if this pulls back, make the stop lower? No, the stop is going to stay the same. And I'm going to add this. So what this is saying is show order. So if we have a stop loss in place, it'll show up on our chart. So we can see this is where our current stop is. It is at 535.14. Um, John, you'll have to go back and watch the recording. This will be archived. Um, this will be archived. So now we're going to come and look at Costco. So Costco, we bought as an example trade back on November 22nd. We bought 100 shares of Costco. And so you can see we put our stop loss on. We bought 42 shares and our stop is sitting where? Our stop is sitting at 558.23, which is $32, $31.77 below the price that we paid for it back on November 22nd. So this stop loss was put on on November 22nd and it, we have not updated it. And so maybe time to update. So one a, a way that we can adjust a stop and there are several ways to do it. But one of the easiest ways is to just click on it. So I'm going to left click and I'm going to drag it up to about 683. Now, if you if you want this to be a specific number, we can, it says here, you you want to replace the original stop order with a new stop order to get out at 682.84. And if you said, well, actually, I want this to be 683.13, you can hit edit and then come in, say, okay, I want out here, 683.13. Stop, good till cancel, confirm and send. I'm going to leave this in the same spot that it was. And again, no guarantee if it were to gap down, we could be out at a lower price, send. So now we can see on the chart that this has moved up from the 500 and some it was at to here. And so what are we attempting to do by moving our stop up is to protect some of the profit, the unrealized profit that we have on this position um, and yet give the stock enough room to breathe that if it pulls back, we don't get stopped out and then have the stock continue to go up. So, you know, when we come and look at the monitor tab, we can see we bought 42 shares for 589. It's now trading at 752.15. Um, we're up 27% on this stock currently, or, you know, this is the dollars, but this is an unrealized gain. And what the market giveth, the market can taketh away. Now, so, so we, updated a stop, we canceled it and replaced it. Another way to do that, we could come out here, click on this, and then we could cancel and replace it this way. Click on this, cancel and replace. Now this one we just updated on Friday. So, or no, we we just did this trade. So we, we aren't going to do that today. Okay, so how about looking at a stock that doesn't have a little chiclet beside it. These little chiclets are sell orders, which indicate to me or to a trader looking at this, it's like either my stop loss is in another spot, you know, or I don't have a stop on this order, on this investment. And, you know, we have a 23% gain on this, $7,000 in unrealized profit. Maybe we ought to protect this position. We bought it for 151.87 or an average of that. It's currently trading at 187.56. So if we come out to the chart and look at Amazon, where might we want to put a stop? 
So we might say, you know what, I'd like to put it kind of below this, this again, this 30 day moving average has been acting as support. So if I kind of look, you know, kind of below this level here. So what if we decided to put our stop on Amazon? I'm just looking at the number around 169.75. And we don't have a stop on this position. So if you come to the monitor tab, what we can do is right click on this position and say, we wanna create a closing order to sell our 200 shares of Amazon with a stop. And we're going to put that stop at, now the default is the system will automatically put in a number and that number, no matter how expensive the stock is or how cheap the stock is, is $1 below the current trading price. So you can see it's trading at 187.64, it'll say 186. So typically, um, you know, you may wanna update that. So we're going to make that uh, 169.75. One sixty nine seventy five. We're going to make this good till canceled. Now, if you come in, you know, the next tomorrow, and you say, "I just put a stop on Amazon. Where did it go?" Well, you may look at your orders, and you may see, "Oh, I put in. I didn't update this to good till canceled." So you can just go in and put another one on. But as part of your weekly routine, you may want to look at your monitor tab and your positions to make sure that you have a stop in place if in fact you wanna use stop loss orders, okay? So this is how we add a stop to a current position and someone just a little, I think it was Susie Q uh, a little earlier asked if we could add a stop to a position already in our portfolio and that is how we would do that. So send, when we come up and we look at the charts, we can now see that we have a stop in place. All right, so we have looked at how to add a stop loss order based on a price, a stop market order to a new order. We showed how to add a stop loss order to a position in your portfolio. We showed how to update a, a stop position and move it up as the stock went up in price. Um, and so we covered actually a lot of ground. There was a question before the class started. Someone has forgotten how to access the heat map. So just really quickly, if you come to market watch, uh, we're gonna come to market watch, visualize, and then under visualization, heat map. And so this is the NASDAQ 100. We can see there's a lot of green on the screen today, but we have a number of stocks also that are down. The darker the green, the more it's up. So we can see Micron is up 4.3%. It's a little darker green than Microsoft, which is up 1.4. You know, and if you look at O'Reilly, which is almost gray, it's up 0.13%. So gray means neutral. Where if we're looking at something in the pink, like Pinduoduo, Duo, PDD, um, yeah, it's down by 1.17. If you want to see how many stocks are up or down, here's the S&P 500, 353 up, 144 down. Here's our NASDAQ, 63 up. 37 down on the day. And then if you're saying, oh, this one's up quite a bit. Yeah, that would be Micron. This one's down quite a bit. That would be Walgreens Boots Alliance or WBA. Okay, the second question was, I've forgotten how to access the earnings calendar. So for that, you're still on this market watch tab and you're gonna come over to calendar. And so here's today and you can see there's a ton of stocks coming with earnings today, VRTX, um, the, the, you can just scroll. All of these companies are coming after the market closes today. So that's how we see earnings. So save, they had earnings this morning. So you'll see the ones that are before the market 
And then here are the ones there's 155 announcing earnings tomorrow, 262. And then 158 in the morning. So big week for earnings. Okay, so guys, that is a wrap for today. Believe it or not, our time has gone quickly. Next week, we'll talk about this same kind of agenda only on options if you are interested in trading options. So thank you for joining me today. Keep in mind that everything that we discussed and we looked at lots of examples, but all of those were for example purposes only. Um, Thanks to Ken Rose for being in the chat. Thanks to each and every one of you for helping bring this class to life by showing up live. If you're watching this in the archives, as a lot of people do, if you have questions, um, don't hesitate to type them into the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the class, uh, you can type that in as well. But, you know, I will respond to every one of those on a pretty timely basis. I look at those each and every day. So, guys, thanks for joining me. Have a super awesome day. I will look forward to seeing you in a webcast coming up soon. Up next is um, Liz Ann Saunders um, talking about the market. So I hope you can join us for that. Take care.